Hi. Welcome to Creative Wise Quotation System. So, uh, what you need to do is using the quotation system is that you enter a course title, enter a course date, which is here, and the, enter the unit here, and also enter the training venue. Then finally, you enter the prospect details in another worksheet here and click the PDF button here. So let's begin, right? So uh, first, uh, you can click on these two buttons here. If it's an advanced level, you just click on it, it will change. Uh, otherwise, you enter it accordingly. Um, yeah. And then also the date here, you're going to change the uh, accordingly, right? So changing the date is important. So let's just do a color link then. Right. Okay, so you need to change the color, change the time, uh, the venue, uh, yeah. And then, okay, so this is the basic guide. Now, then you can key in this value here, right? Let's say it's 1,500 uh, a day, so then the purpose would be this. Now these are the, not the real rates, right? So just for illustrate to you guys, uh, uh, admin manager uh, admin staff okay. so now next thing is that you have uh, the total stories there now um, um, all right so then you can go to the customer details okay either way you can do that right so let's say uh, we we'll look for this Asia uh, mr. Tony and the Asia one to we'll just key in the details here right then here is uh, Asia uh, 2, uh, line 2, right, okay, and that's line 2. Okay, so uh, you can put it, uh, the email address, so again, right, these are all fictitious data, right, so i uh, just go here, over here, we put there Tony at uh, capital A, okay, for example, right, so let's see whether it's correct, right, right, so uh, anyway, you select that row, and then click on the quotation, it will come back and you can see that uh, all the details is entered here, right? So once you've done this, click the plus one and then click uh, plus one, we'll add this here one more time and then click PDF buttons and it will actually generate a PDF. And yes, that's it. And you can email this to the prospect. Okay, in this case it will be email to Tony. Uh, yeah. So to recap, what have you just done is that uh, uh, to do to use a quotation system is that you can uh, enter here, you can uh, add amazing Excel, you can change it or you can use the default value you can see here um, uh, or many other dates, right? So if there are other courses, you can put it there and put a date. Uh, the time will be 9 to 5 and you have the unit rates right here enter here also and then change this uh, the value the value here and enter the customer details here uh, you enter here for example it's Kasana then you choose that one here and click quotations and uh, it doesn't work right why because uh, okay some setting error here right so uh, no problem um, we go to here first, quotations, okay, let's just come back here, right? So the reason why it doesn't work is because the uh, customer customer contact issue, right? So customer contact issue, why is that? So let's just go to that customer contact. Yeah, that is the reason, right? See that customer contact is until 14, but uh, just now we enter it somewhere here. So we can enter a few more things here, right? Uh, yeah, so how to change that? You can change it by uh, going to formulas, name manager, so customer contacts. Uh, let's just look at that. Okay, this is the one, and just enter. You can see that here, so we can edit. So uh, that is uh, a few more, so we can enter a few more things here. So, uh, well, just let's go for a thousand then, right? That'd be good, right? A thousand. Or one four, okay, a thousand. 
Okay, click OK and uh, click Close and let's see what it works. What it works then. Okay, you can see that now it works, right? See, it works. So customer details, choose the one you want uh, after you key in there and then you click quotations and there you go. Then click, click one, it will add up and then click PDF and then email to that person. Thanks for watching.